What's up guys, welcome back to the video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to wall run super balls on Gorilla Tech Standalone. If you're wondering why I'm not on Steam to record this video, because Steam has been has higher quality content. The reason I'm doing this is just for the standalone players out there. I did a tutorial for the Steam players, so I'm going to do one for the standalone players. And I still like standalone, I still play this account like a lot. I just actually play this account more. But, step one, um, for my standalone players, um, Go to this wall right here, it's the best wall to practice on, so you can get some good, like, whatchamacallits, like, it's, it's really good, alright, just go, just go here, so, go up here, go right there, so, I assume you already know how to wall run, but yeah, so let's, so, um, next step is just, just go on the wall like this, like I did earlier, now, I'm afraid I'm gonna hit something, guys, so if you think I'm, like, look like a noob, I'm not, it just, it just, I'm afraid I'm gonna hit something, because I'm in a different location right now, but it's good, but also guys, here, let's just keep going on the just, just, just stay right here if you're like, don't know what to do yet, but what you wanna do, is that you wanna go right here. You, you will still be real wallring, I just wanna show you which spot to, to start. You wanna go right here, and go on up. So for example, when you slippery wall run, you know when you go on normal walls, you just wall run. This, and don't worry steam players, I'll make a tutorial for you guys, um, probably later, another day. But yeah, wall running like this. This is just on normal walls. When you get to slippery walls, it's gonna be much, much, much harder. For my standalone players, um, it's gonna be really hard for you guys to do this. You're gonna need to put a lot of effort and a lot of power. Like, a lot. You're probably gonna need to do this. Which, watch this. That's my slippery wall running. It just looks like that. Let's go back up there. And... It looked easy in your guys' perspective, but let me show you. It's kind of like a vert in a way, so I have to scratch on my leg. So, for example, if I were to go over here, if I were to go over here, what you do, it's good to sit right here. It's good to start right here. The reason it's good to start right there is that, that right at, across the divot, you can go forward. See how I went? I went a good amount of speed right there. That's a good thing. Now, I do recommend wall running from here and then doing it so you get a lot of speed in. Like that. Now, guys, I'm not, like, the greatest at this. Unless you're a pig, you can do this really well, but I can still do it. It's not as, like, crazily. But it's good. But, but guys, just just hit really hard. That's all it is. For Steam players, you barely even have to hit. I, I, I can slip up so easily on Steam. But on standalone, it's much harder, but it's still possible. All you really do is you just go up, hit really hard. That's all you really do. Now, sometimes you'll not guess, sometimes you will. It'll take some practice, guys. But I say hitting really hard. Like, I, I don't, don't, like, if you think, like, I mean really hard. Like, I don't say, I don't mean all soft. I mean hard, like, really hard. Even when you do it hard, you won't go flying. But yes. Um, another thing is that it's really good to, um, to when you reach red bulls, it's really good to do, to do a hit like this, like that. See how I went like bam, bam, instead of just bam, just want to go, a double hit. Also, another thing is that it's good to, um, get speed on normal walls, and then once you have speed like this on normal walls, you can get up to, to slippery walls. Yeah. 